Hey guys, today in this video we are going to see the iQOO 7 Legend Android 12 review. First off, we can see that previously iQOO took registrations about closed beta. As you can see that it's around 4.1 GB. Let's see what we are getting in the update. As you can see, there is a nano music player with just one tap. We can control the music without going to music app, which makes it easy to control music. And second, we can see the sticker component. Let's discuss this after update. We can see that unlock to power off feature is added, which means when phone is unlocked, we can power off and in lock screen, it will not able to power up which is helpful when lost or stolen. They added the feature that apps will get only the pro approximate location and then the precise one which secures privacy on location. And also they added the feature about the microphone and camera usage when an app is open. We will able to see a dot in right corner and also they added the hibernation which means to remove the permissions which are no longer in use. Also on status bar and notification they are giving priority to call notifications to keep them on top before other notifications and also they mention in note that they do not delete or modify user usage data which is safe and also they do not occupy the phone space there are many features which they haven't mentioned let's see what we got after update a few moments later First up, you might see a slightly change in icon shapes in the notification tiles and additionally they added the device controls and wallet tile which make no sense and also we can see a monster mode from iQ Z5 and also we can see a notification history so that we could again see the important notifications we missed. And the notification bar has a new curved edges at the bottom. Sometimes the notification bar is unresponsive. And on the home screen, the Google bar size slightly got bigger and a new animation of each app and nothing new inside the apps except the camera they added the allo color on the present usage options and phone changes of hdr and ai and a green dot on the top right corner which is from stock android and still the stabilization in 4k 60 fps is not there in the home settings we can see they additionally added the home screen style previously we have drawer style and now they added the standard style and in the recent background they additionally added more apps to occupy space in the screen and while closing, it is not removing the last open app until we until the app is closed and also we can swipe to switch to another app that we are using previously. And to the home screen, even in the dark mode, it remains in light mode. And they additionally added the list of app preferences by name and also by usage frequency. The significant change is the widgets in the app drawer. We can see this app and widgets directly. In the app widgets, the clean and sweep widget helps to remove the background app usage in a faster way. And the nano music player, we can control the music with just one tap without going to music apps as previously mentioned in the update. The stickers widget is quite interesting as we can add a new code and also we can change the background color and also we can add the background image. And the new album widget where we can add images and create a photo booth and additional option to cover auto change which helps in changing the photos regularly from the gallery. And a new weather widget while speaking about the widgets, the clock widget hasn't changed, it's the same shape, it's the same as before. And in the settings, they added the emergency info at the beginning, but it is not available from the locked screen. And in the Wi-Fi hotspot, they added a limited option that, we, that is, we can control the mobile data that is shared from unlimited to 500 MB and also we can customize the amount we needed, which is quite interesting. And in all, and in always on display, they added a new bull animation style and also some watch faces and in the battery they added three prioritized options that is power saving and balanced and monster mode which is from the recent iq z5 and we can also see the time of charging in settings while charging and in the video editing app Finally, the rotation and flip option which is quite useful and also new textiles. These days, there are many video editors in Google Play Store but this Vivo video editor is better than many video editors available. And in the gaming, there are slightly new theme and more options while gaming. I did not find many issues. And about the Widevine L1 support on Prime Video, I was able to get HD video and I don't use Netflix much. And here are the benchmarks, we can see slightly 1% improvement while compared with the Android 12. What I didn't like is that locking the screen as an app is unnecessary. The bright bar and the volume bar is still thin and not as not as same as the stock Android which is disappointing. Let's hope for the change in the next update. Most of the features are necessary functions as the user agreement asking is good but some companies even don't do that. But as we buy, we agree to use it. So I felt that some features asking user agreement is unnecessary. Some of the problems I faced is that and the Brave app is also get crashing. 
hopefully all the necessary features are working as well as it's a closed beta it's not the final one finally this is my review guys please do comment on what you feel about the new android 12 closed beta if you feel it useful in any way please do consider subscribing which means a lot to me i'm asha this is hashtag it geek we'll meet in the next one